So we give you 25 million today, you produce tomatoes and they rot. When you're growing fruits and vegetables, it's really important to maintain the cold chain. How much does a motorcycle cost? For Emma's VSLA, this first stage marked the end of the road. We thank you so much for coming along. But I think for you this is the end of the road. This is the DFCU Tower, nestled in the heart of Nakasero Hill. From this point, teams comprising of 16 investment clubs will embark on a race against time in the battle for a cash prize of 25 million and more. A tour to Nairobi and a one year of advisory services with Price Waterhouse Coopers. From the serene Royal Lake View Gardens in Rubaga, where they're staying, the teams will make their way to the DFCU Tower in Nakasero. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the top 16 investment clubs. Now, as you know, it gets tougher with each week. You must show your leadership skills, your business acumen, and also your ability to save and invest wisely. Are you ready? Yeah. Good. Now, each week, the judges are going to give you a task. You'll accumulate points for your individual investment clubs, but you will have to win as a team. Yes? Now, it's very important that you pull in your weight for each of the tasks, because if you don't, you could cost each of your teams millions. Now, I have envelopes for the task. Before I get there, we have to find the teams. So I'm going to divide each of you into teams. Remember to work hard, you win as a team, but accumulate points for your individual investment clubs. Are we ready? Yes. So my team one consists of plus save group, Kennebe Outspan, Organic Farmers, The Peak Investment Club, who are not here, Namakakali Farmers Cooperative, great, you are team one, remember, you win as a team, you accumulate points for your individual investment clubs. Team two, Surveyors Investment and Savings Club. Ruharo Hospital Retreaty. Agency for Rural Transformation. Input Investment Club. Your team two. So let's try and find team three. Chinyugunyu Youth Bull Fattening Group. You will be joined by Sichomo Development. You will also be joined by University Senior Savers Association. And last in Team 3 is Umoja Namendeleo Savings. And the fourth team, Super Saving Group. I think I'll ask you to just walk right to the front. I have British Investment Club. Soroti Women Cooperative Union. You'll also be joined by Omukago Bugongo Women Group, which means Team 4 has the women and youth. Now those are the four teams you have. Remember, each task of the week you will win as a team, which means you have to work hard as a team. If you don't, you not just lose as a team, but you also lose points for your individual investment group, which millions are at stake, I'm telling you. What I'm going to do is give you just one or two minutes to go and group yourselves and Come out with me. Give me a team leader for each of your teams. So one or two minutes, talk amongst yourselves, brainstorm on who's best to lead the team, remember leadership skills.
business acumen, ability to save and invest. So your one or two minutes start now. Go think. Suggesting Beatrice to be our leader. Members, are you agreeing? Yes. Thank you, Kia. And we clap for ourselves. I'd like team leaders from team one, two, three, and four to please walk to the front. Now this is how it works. Each week the judges will give you a task to complete. Time is of the essence. You don't manage your time, you lose out. Each team will have one of these guys following them around, the camera crew. They will stick to the teams like glue and will be the judges' eyes and ears during task execution. I have envelopes for each team. When you receive an envelope for each of your teams, there's a training. You can only and only open this envelope after the training. Start. The trainer is Ronald Edward Mokasa. Ronald is a motivational speaker, consultant, trainer, and business development professional. Ronald has provided financial literacy and financial management training to corporate, government, and non-governmental institutions for the last five years. Every time a discussion is had about business, money comes into the minds of people. None of you came prepared for this assignment, isn't it? Yet by the end of the day, you have to have made money. Isn't it fascinating? You have quite a problem on your hands, isn't it? The businesses which you are going to start today are going to answer, have to answer these three simple questions. What are these questions? The first question is the needs of others question. That's the first question. The second question is the passion question. The last and most important one is the Money question. This is an interesting one because you are going to be evaluated against it. Where is the money you have? What you have made? They tell us that where other people see problems, the entrepreneur sees a what? An opportunity. So this morning when we are coming, it was a rainy morning today. So some fellow gives you a car thing which you just wear once. Possibly it's even disposable and he asks you for 3,000 shillings. But in your condition, you are betting between arriving at the DFCU offices when you are totally wet or you give this man 3,000 shillings. Which decision do you make? You give the man the what? The 3,000. You can say this cafe, I can make it at home, but you can't make it at home because you are here now at the taxi park and it is what? It is raining. This year we have seized the opportunity. Sometimes it's even simple, as simple as transport of lifting. Have you seen? How many of you have had this rare opportunity of the clock tower flooding on you? Have you had that opportunity? If you haven't, if you haven't had that opportunity of the clock tower flooding, you wouldn't understand that business opportunity. But there are these young men who say, for me, I don't care. I can walk you through this. But you have to pay 3,000. So you sit on the man's neck. And it takes you across. So your business has to be right there in the middle. It addresses the needs of others. It addresses the passion. And it addresses the money. Question. But watch out for one thing. And I want to close with this point. What I call the paralysis of analysis. This is a problem we can have today. You can spend the whole day planning to make money. You will plan and say we can go here. Then they tell you the time as what? Has ended. There are so many people who are trapped in this thing called paralysis of what? Of analysis. They analyze the business one year, two years, three years. They are analyzing. You find him after five years. Says, You people, I am going to start a car garage and mine will be better than all the others. Then you tell him that. Have you started? Say, Next year, 2019, 2018, 2019, you find him preparing. Don't get trapped by what? 
by the paralysis of what? Of analysis. Sit down, make a decision for 30 minutes, and you what? And you move. And even in our groups, that's exactly what we are supposed to do. Introductions and training completed. The teams read the task instructions from the judges. How each team gels will be crucial in helping them accomplish the task. I'm seeing all of you. Yeah, but for the cash. So I'm opening it. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, I'm reading the instructions now from the judges. Dear investment clubs, congratulations for making it this far in the battle for cash competition. You can divide into teams. Each team should select a team leader or project manager and a name. Mm. Team Alpha. Yes. In, the, in an economy where money is increasing and becoming scarce. And jobs unavailable, it has become apparent that one has to resort to creative ways of making money even without large sums of capital. Your task for today, therefore, is to make money without money. Mm. As a team, you must come up with a strategy, and the team leader will present the strategy to the judges mm. for selected team member to do so. You will be judged on originality and ability to make money. The team that will make the most money by the end of the day will be the winners. Mm. You have until 4.30 today to execute this task and make it back here. The team that checks in after, after 30 30 shall be penalized. Good luck and stay so, safe. Yeah. Okay. We don't have no idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. We have come up with an idea. It's 10 a.m. and the team start brainstorming on ideas of how to make money without money. So which are resources are uh, with us right now? So if you think about the resources, me, like I say that first, fundraising. But where are we going to fundraise? And what are we going to fundraise for? In just 30 minutes, they should have a strategy ready to execute. In Kampala, we always have lunch hour. I'm coming up with ideas. I don't know how we're going to do this. Can we not blame in these churches doing lunch hour? Let's first have what everyone came with in mind. Yeah, we can start with our services. How are we going to make it practical so that we come back here by four when we have a lot of money? At the end of the day, we need to be with money. Me, I had this idea since it's a little cold today, and very many people want to warm up. And maybe they do not have really enough money to buy a piece of cloth something like that. If we raise money and have the chance to boil and sell like tea. Yeah. There's an idea we've had. For example, people, people just have to eat food. Mm -hmm. So if you can go to a and deliver and convince them mm -hmm. that we can transport for them, we can give them with them and mm -hmm. take these foods to people in town because people in church will be around. We don't know what they don't want to go out for so lunch. You just sell these things and just what mm -hmm. sell them and get up a commission. Mm -hmm. I'm sure to do what example. Mm -hmm. yes. you know, what do you think about that? We shall have looked at um, maybe if you go to town things mm -hmm. that do like uh, food. I'm, yes. sure, I'm sure you don't want to fix it. You want to fix it? No, is it? We, we can. can. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we are going to move on. And we should also we should also look at how much are we getting? How much are we getting? Because yeah. from what we've read, the one is most money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's first look at what we want to do. We will depend on our bargaining skills eh? mm -hmm. to convince those, convince those people. So that we, uh, the commission that we shall be getting from them. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are moving food from a restaurant, no, from a restaurant to a person, to a their workplace. Their workplace because yeah. the people don't move really. We can come up with skits. I think like we start play like yeah? Play. yeah, a play. Then people can ask what is happening there. So when they come, we are like, we want to come up with something, we want to teach you something. But can you please, like, this amount or this amount? So if, if people come, like, in large number, we start. And the best we can offer is labor. Labor, yes. Because if you're going to clean the town, they're already passed. You now go up, do you think they're always going around and they're doing things? And who is going to pay us? Who is going to pay you? Exactly. <laughs> After 15 minutes of brainstorming, Team Alpha has a strategy and are ready to move. They're going to vend food acquired on credit from a restaurant downtown. 
Our strategy is to go and offer cleaning services to hostel dwellers, the students in hostels. We clean their rooms and we get a, a specific amount of money from them, depending on our negotiations with them. And uh, then later in the day, we shall also look at brokery. We want to be middlemen between restaurants and people in shops downtown. That is basically what we're going to do today. Three, two, one, Alpha! Team Omega, on the other hand, keeps going back and forth on the same ideas they've all agreed will not work. The team leader decides they're going to mobilize people and train them on saving, then later auction an art piece created by one of the members. So our strategy of making money is that we are going to target churches where like, they have lunch hours. So we are going to start like making skits where, people, where we will attract people's attention. When they come, after like our kids, we will start mobilizing them. After mobilizing them, we are going to ask for a, some amount of money little little amount of money which won't be so hard for people to raise then we start teaching them about saving we're going to sensitize them about saving ntv turning on your world life sometimes we try ask why we cry, break, and wish we could die. Hope, daydream, window shopping things we could buy. School fees, daily cheese, we get on our knees. And still, nothing comes with ease. But if we keep getting up again and again, understanding that no pain, no gain, never giving up, pushing up, hooking up, with a startup, you stand up, set up, and realize it's time to wake up. Because you are a winner and headed up. No dream is beyond reach. Because DFCU is making more possible. DFCU, with pleasure. child's dream alive by ensuring they all sleep under a treated mosquito net to prevent malaria. Protect our dreams. Chase malaria today. The White Wall. Where do you start? Inspired by the world's most beautiful places, Sutherland has been bringing color to the world since 1907. Let's color. You saw them. You heard them. The men and women whose stories inspired millions of Ugandans to save for retirement. Now it's your turn to share your story and inspire more people because NSSF Friends with Benefits is back for season two. So, if you've received your NSSF benefits and used the money to do something life changing, be a friend with benefits and submit your story by logging on to www.nssfug.org to download an application form or visit any NSSF branch near you. The best story will receive 30 million shillings. Second place, 15 million and 10 million shillings for third place. Submission deadline for all entries is 30th October 2017. Terms and conditions apply. NSSF, a better life. By 11 a.m., both teams are now heading out to make money out of nothing and their destination is downtown Kampala.
I'm going to teach you about Visla, Village Saving and Loans Association. Wow, it's not a village. <laughs> <laughs> you have done that? It is a village. However much is in town, it is a village. Yeah. So, we think the creation. <laughs> I can see. This is done from waste material, you get from garbage. So, oh, it's not just like this. <laughs> Well, right now we are going to JBK Hotel to negotiate with those people to help us with uh, the food that we shall be delivering to the different people in town. Team Omega identifies a church atop one of the downtown arcades. We can't. We try to pop a church here. We pump one. We do our investment to eat our exit here. They go there and try convincing the junior pastor to let them teach his congregation about saving and later auction to them the art piece. He agrees to give them a few minutes at 12.45, but the problem is that the church has no congregation yet. So, the team leader bows to the pressure from the team and decides to mobilize people to enter the church. Team Alpha has also found a restaurant that has agreed to give them food that they'll sell and earn a commission. Right now, we don't want to check the food immediately. We want to go down so we see people's orders. You understand that? Eh? Yeah, and then we come back here and we take it away. It's a lot of walking. See? The team heads out to find hungry clients. They split up into teams and head in different directions. We take your order, then we shall deliver. We have local food. Mm -hmm. Uh, which, which is at uh, 20,000 and the first foods at 15,000. Yes. Local foods. Local foods at 20,000 and uh, First foods are at 15,000. So if, if you are willing to support us, local food, eh? Okay. Thank you. What do you want from local food? Hey, we have all the local foods. You just, the sauce you want is what you shall cook. Payment will be when we deliver. So I get you local food? Okay. Thank you very much. Should we get you something? You're fine. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, continue supporting us so we can win. Thank you. We are Team Alpha. Well, it's, it's, it's not any easy so far because, like you've seen, some people are not accepting us to offer the services to them. But uh, at least so far, not so bad. We have over over 18 with us here. Yes, we are going to Makere Hostels after delivering this food. Yes. No, to eat it down, Jango and Okati, it's a more Joan Oga Kurubudo. Jango and Oga Kurubudo. It's one o'clock. Team Alpha is banking on the quality of the food to make sales. Team Omega is banking on the numbers in the church congregation. 
disaster strikes. While still convincing people to go to church, team leader Serafine lost all her team members. Have you seen them? She finds them in the church praying instead. How prudent is this strategy? Finally, the long-awaited senior pastor arrives. He accepts the team to talk to the congregation, but wait. He wants the team to pay 100,000 shillings in order for them to talk to his flock. Strategy abandoned. I wish we knew earlier. Now that pastor, I think he's supposed to be a pastor. How could he ask for such a amount? Team Alpha, on the other hand, is doing brisk business. They seem to have landed on the ultimate business idea. Uh, we have a few challenges uh, concerning, first of all, time, timekeeping. Some people are complaining. Yeah. Then uh, we made some. Uh, we made some, uh, I think, some uh, quite, some few losses. You know, uh, we we under underquoted prices of food. Eh? We expected like we thought it was the same all through. So we, we realized we had to cover up for some of those prices. But I think all in all, we'll be able to cover it up. Time to switch strategies. A bottle of water that one of the members picked up after training is the starting point for Team Omega. <laughs> Most of the members just look on as Sarafine, the team leader, desperately tries to sell the bottle of water. For Team Alpha, after a successful lunchtime stint as middlemen, it's time to cash in. Well, the first shift has uh, gone well. We've been able to get a couple of orders which uh, we managed to deliver well in time. And uh, our yields were not that bad. So we are going in for our next shift and we hope to make more from them. Team Omega finally sells their art piece and team leader calls for a break. Next, since we've done at least so we deserve to, to fill our stomachs. So we are going for lunch right now as we continue with our business. Team 
Alpha is ready to embark on their second strategy, cleaning hostel rooms. I understand the area is clean their rooms, but we need to do a thorough cleaning at a fee that we shall negotiate with everyone we shall be helping out. At the hostel, Brighton convinces the security guard to let them in. We are here to offer you a service. Our challenge today is to make money without money. And when we sat down, we figured out that we could offer you a service at a fee that we have negotiated. And we are requesting that we help you clean and organize your room. of lesbian land, especially teamwork and the hard work actually is required for one to earn. It's four o'clock and the teams have only 30 minutes to make it to the pit stop, the DFCU Towers, short of which they will be penalized, which means losing some of the money they painfully made from nothing. It's a race against time. Team Omega is done having lunch and still have a lot of time to spare, but have lost their driver. So they walk to the pit stop without him. Because we've struggled, yeah, we've not seen any one of them. So we have more money. <laughs> because we started with nothing, but we have four thousand six hundred. We have four thousand four six five hundred. Yeah. Time check is three fifty-five p.m. and Team Omega is the first to make it to the pit stop. Let's we'll stop right there. 3.55 was your time. Team three, now at the top. Can I have your team leader? Safina of team three. Any challenges generally in the task and where you went? Yes, challenges are there. Yeah. Because first and foremost, people are scared of the camera very yeah. much. Well, wherever they see the camera, they decide to run. And we have lost customers because of the camera. You know, the cameraman was supposed to be the judge's ears and eyes. Yeah. So they had to follow of you. Of course, they had to follow us because it was also part of the... And also you need to realize that every other business you make will come with its own challenges. Yeah. Some will surprise you, some won't. Yeah. <laughs> so you lost our car. Did you sell it? No, we didn't sell it. But we were in seated in the car, but because of jam, we wanted to keep time. So we were like, people, let's move. Then the car follows us. We went using our food. You meet the judges, those will be your discussions. I needed my envelope and what you made, but as I can see, you don't have an envelope because you lost the car, <laughs> team three. <laughs> so I'll take the profits. I submit this to the judges yes. and you start your conversation from there. Thank you. Good luck and well done, team three. Thank you. You were the first ones back. That has to account for something. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. There's one reason we are going to make it because everyone has participated to their fullest. Team Alpha! Team Alpha makes it to the pit stop at 4.20 with just 10 minutes to spare. I'll need Andrew, your team leader. We partnered with a restaurant in town, downtown, and uh, we were able to deliver food to people at their places of work. Do you believe you made the most out of all the teams? I'm very optimistic mm. because with what we did, uh, really, it was worth what Surely. we did. Surely. Yeah, and we should be the okay. best. Okay, I need my envelope with your money. The next conversation is with the judges. All right. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Next, the teams meet the judges for post-mortem. Find out how much they made after the break.
news updates is brought to you by Classcon. Cover your world. Court orders government to pay 1.7 billion shillings as compensation to suspects charged with the murder of senior police officer Andrew Felix Kawesi over torture. MPs to get 29 million shillings for age limit consultations as parliament's recess is extended. Also tonight, opposition MPs shun meeting with the Speaker, Rebecca Kadaga, to discuss the modalities of holding discussions on the bill to remove the presidential age limit. And the Prime Minister of Acholi Cultural Institution, Ambrose Ola, claims armed herdsmen have occupied Aswa government ranch as the land probe continues in Gulu. The same paint you've known for over 55 years. The same products you've trusted to color your world. But now, with a new name, Plascon, color your world. Life. Sometimes we try. Ask why. We cry, break, and wish we could die. Hope. Daydream, window shopping things we could buy, school fees, daily cheese. We get on our knees, and still, nothing comes with ease. But if we keep getting up again and again, understanding that no pain, no gain, never giving up, pushing up, hooking up, with a startup, you stand up, set up, and realize it's time to wake up. Because you are a winner and headed up. No dream is beyond reach. Because DFCU is making more possible. DFCU, with pleasure. I'm living proof that even with HIV, I can live a healthy, productive life. And that's because I began taking my ARVs the day I tested HIV positive. I still run my business like normal despite being HIV positive. That's because I immediately started taking ARVs the day I tested positive. The day I tested HIV positive, I began taking ARVs to protect our baby. Don't give HIV a chance to weaken your body. Ask your health worker to start you on ARVs the day you test positive. Tomorrow night. No, what I'm telling you is what if we collectively come together and we refuse to sign a DC code, DC code. Let us all come together and refuse. But you know what? Mm. Me, I think we should do a Sarah song. Hmm? See, but we scare her. She will stop forcing us and making us sign that. Will a Sarah? What, what is that? What is this? Your single motion. It is done with your attention. And the flood in my mansion. Oh, baby girl, this. You have been coming out the place me on that take up. Yeah, yeah. In Africa, every morning can be a challenge, but someone you trust brings you joy and hope for the future. That's the African way. MoneyGram, bringing you...
closer. Available wherever you see a MoneyGram sign. Hey guys, I'm about to become a first time dad, but I'm stuck in traffic. Help! Guys, let's help this new dad get to his firstborn. Smartphone Network. Now is the time for the teams to meet the judges, and Team Alpha goes first. The Alphas. Yes. yes. How are you, gentlemen? Are you are all gentlemen. Yes. You just did your strategy right now. You did not do your PowerPoint strategy as it was required. The judges give Peak Investment Club a lesson in teamwork. Peak, you came in late when they had already started having their ideas out there. And the cameras show that you had a bit of negative energy. When you're in a team, you encourage, you support. When the team leader says this is the direction we are going, you see, you find ways of encouraging other than pulling down the Team. What yeah. did you contribute to the team? Well, uh, first of all, mobilizing like clients who will take our food. There are clients who would go to and they don't know Uganda, they don't know English. So you had some clients. How many do you have? No, I did like eight. Okay. Yes. So then, of course, delivery was because you're moving on the third floor. You can't have so many things. So all of you have participated in, you know, lifting, you know, that kind of thing. That we moved know. away from team. It is individual. We want an individual contribution. Okay. Yes. When we reached there, uh, we were all involved in the negotiations. Uh, the issue Ramadan, what, what did, did you, you do? We just want your contribution. Uh, found some yes. customers. How many? Uh, I can't tell the number, but uh, maybe around three. Okay. My friend from Soka. Yeah. Yes. My role was to to carry food from the hotel to the to the customers. You are the Kanyama of the in the team. Yeah. By that time, I was the, the Kanyama. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we reached somewhere. We found the Basoka who could not uh, understand very well. So, how many places did you sell to this Basoka? The Basoka were we are six. And they all bought food. Yeah. So who let you down on this team? Who wasn't pulling their efforts? I think like you can see, we made quite some money. Pick, who was the weakest <coughs> link? We need a name. No, no one was weak. You need to that be very honest. That is your opinion. Team leader, who was the weakest link? Yes. I should admit that uh, the team I worked with was a strong team. Mm. Team leader, who was the... We know who was the weakest link. We no, have no team. one. Mm. Okay, who was the strong... Who was your strong point? All of Chimua. us. Chimua. <laughs> okay. You made money yeah. out of no money. Yes. And the total 207,000. Yes. yes. We will be dividing that amount of 207,000. Yes. Uh, amongst the four groups, and the amount is going to be credited onto your individual uh, group account. Wow. And we thank you for that. Wish you the best. Thank you. Well done, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Convinced that they are the top team, Team Alpha walks out energized, although they have to wait a little longer to find out their positions. Up next, Team Omega faces the judges. The judges are puzzled by the team's decision to engage in prayer in a race against time to make money. At first... Yeah, at first, mm -hmm. we met another person. Then that person told us, you can wait for the senior pastor to come. 
So by that process, like that uh, process of waiting, people resorted to praying as we wait for the pastor to come in. I just want a comment from you guys. Prayer is in the motivational equation. Yes. It is not in the action equation. So how did you lose focus? When I just when, a we when we got that thing didn't work out the way we expected, then we had to come up with another strategy. Okay. But however, our being there was a very, very good learning lesson. That was a very good learning lesson that gave us another idea. And also we got a blessing because we were in the church and we were praying. We first all participated in prayers and we went out and we made money. Why would people in a church need an artist? It would work as a decoration in a church to beautify. So we had gone to sell it to the pastor because he talked about auction. Mm. I imagine auctioning means selling it to, uh, I have come with my problems to pray and then I find the person in front of me is auction. No, I realized that he changed the strategy uh, halfway. We came together and then we came up with an emergency kind of program there and there. And then that's when we, we, thought we, we came up with the idea of marketing the water that one of our colleagues had gone with, which we were given here during break time. Break time rather. Who came up with all these decisions? Let's sell water, let's do the art piece, let's... Uh, I brought the idea. And we and I sold. I personally sold the bottle at two thousand. Then I came back to the members. And Where they, were the members right now? The members were there, but I did the the, the business part, mm -hmm. and I sold the bottle at two thousand. So I told them, people, I've sold this bottle at two thousand. Can I please buy more water to sell the bottle at two thousand? They were like, yes, that is it. What about the art piece? The art piece, it was running. It was running. Running. So this takes us to the key question. And we want to hear from each one of you. What was the contribution from each one of you? So we start with Senior Saver. Well, I was able to sell the bottles of water. How many did you sell? I think about two. About two? Yes. I designed the art piece that we auctioned. You designed it? Yes. Are you yeah. a designer? Yes, I am a designer. Oh, oh. okay. I sold three bottles of water and uh, one big bit, 1,000. Okay. We need to hear from each one of you. What was your contribution? We are, we are not present. What happened? You came late. You let the team down. I told members we should come up with a strategy. We told the clients that, you know what, we are selling this product. It's at 1,000, but we are selling it at 2,000. Why? Because we have an opening, we are fundraising this money, an opening. So it, it is a cause to the opening. If you give us something, you have actually... The cause was battle for cash. So Sechomu decided to take over the team and say we have him. I'm just and saying... did you deliver the money to the mm. opening? Did you? Me who bought your bottle of water. Knowing that it right. is... It was we, 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 we wanted to find a strategy. Yeah, but it's it's our business they are going to see on TV. <laughs> <laughs> it was our strategy because at the end of the day we, we had to pay, we, we are failing. And yeah, but we, had, we had to come up with something. How are we going to sell it? No, but the question is, if I come to your shop and you make me a promise that you should buy this a bit cheaper because the money is going to an orphanage. Mm -hmm. Then I find that you use the money for personal purposes. As a client, will I be happy? Well, and then remember, business ethics is very, very important. Yeah. And it's one of the challenges that we have in Uganda. Someone tells you something else and then does another. Thank you. So you've got an amount here of money in this envelope, which you managed to come home with, totaling to 46 thousand five hundred right mm. is that okay yes. and your four groups now we're going to credit this amount on your investment club accounts meaning that each group is going to take eleven thousand six hundred and twenty five shillings okay yes thank you welcome thank you, thank you. Next week on the Battle for Cash, Team Divas and Team Zeal face off in the race against time to make money without money.